Day two of the Hajan Loop is about to start, but for those of you who are just tuning in, let's do a brief recap of what happened in day one. Pretty much the highlight, or not so highlight of day one, was getting pulled over by the police. We had a 1.5 million dong fine that we tried to avoid all day, but eventually got caught heading into Don Vaughn. And with all the stress of trying to avoid the police, it was time for a good night's sleep, or so we thought. We're literally getting ready for bed, and there's one guy out there, Vietnamese guy, starting Oh karaoke. my gosh. It is a mega sound system. Like, you could be in the most rural part of Vietnam, and this is what you hear. Needless to say, a good night's sleep is never guaranteed while traveling. Oh, he's replaying it. Awesome. So with all the things we have to do today, an 8 a.m. wake up call really puts us about two to three hours behind schedule, which leads me into our main goal for day two, get to bell lock before nightfall. So with just enough time for a cup of coffee, we set forth the plans for the day. All right, day two in the hygiene loop starts today. With some coffee, we found this place in the old district of Dong Vong, and uh, we got some cappuccinos. They're very strong, so it's gonna make us all jittery all day, which is good because we have a little bit more to do than yesterday. So today's gonna be a little bit more adventurous. We have a boat ride. That's the first thing that's coming up on the Nguong Hue River. Uh, it's supposed to be really beautiful. The water's supposed to be crystal clear with limestone rocks. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. Question, I thought it's the pass first visit the highest point, and then you go to the lowest point to do the boat ride. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so, as Alejandro said, first is the pass, Ma Pai Lang Pass. It goes up to 1600 meters, and we're gonna stop there, soak in the views, and then trek on foot a short hike that goes up another 100 meters to get to a, a 1700 meter viewpoint, which will be the highest part of the whole trip. Hopefully, we get some awesome views. And then it was the boat ride that we were talking about. We are staying tonight in the town of Bao Lak. And that'll be essentially the end of day two. So let's go. minutes and we're already like gorgeous nature. Yeah, what are we doing? You are here. I hear what this little dot says. We're at the Skywalk. And we can't order by this anymore. I don't know why, but I would like to. It's all him. That's our mission. But like all have said, there's no scooters allowed on this road anymore. Locals can do it all day. But well, you can pay a local to drive you up if you don't want to walk. Here's a couple doing it right now. Starting to get high. Woo. There's the end right over there. Are we there yet? So that's the major viewpoint of the skywalk right there on the cliffs. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue this way. It wraps around and goes down this way. Then we have to head right and climb up, and that'll be the white cliff. <laughs> Get down to the base, and now it's time for the hardest section here. It's a pretty steep climb all the way up. It winds all the way up to the side of this mountain back here. How's that heart rate? <laughs> How are you feeling? But what about the views? We made it to a major viewpoint of the White Cliff, and this honestly might be the end point for us. The views are absolutely gorgeous, even though it's hazed out. So I want to show you guys what your options are. 
that we're not gonna do, but I definitely recommend because it just seems like it'd be cool on a clear day. So check it out. Okay, so from this viewpoint, you can see the main road there, and that climbs all the way back up over there, and that's the trail that we're gonna be taking later today. Over there, kind of burnt out, hazed out, is the river. No. Way River and that's where we're gonna do our boat ride. Those are the beautiful white cliffs and then way down here It's Alejandra's head <laughs> You could take this path Follow it zigzags and it follows this beautiful cliff side all the way To the other side and leads back to the main road And so yeah, what you can do if you're not on a guided tour like us at the beginning There's taxis you can tell them to wait at the end of this trail here and scooter you back to your bike up at the top. And I tried to see if I can do it, but it was like a lost in translation thing. But for now, since most of the views are already burnt out and hazy, we're gonna just enjoy this, this viewpoint here and then double back up the hill a ways to get back to our scooter. After riding for 40 minutes, we reached our first major setback of the day, the road from hell. We're gonna get a little bit bouncy and ugly. Okay, not that bad, but for a novice rider like me, this road down to the river was taxiing. We're just gonna ride to the side here. Dealing with ongoing construction, speedy locals, I'm gonna let them go. And rocky Honestly. terrain and small motorcycle tires really had me nervous most of the way down. There's a balance between like looking ahead and looking down, and also not using the brakes too much so you're not gonna slide out. And that's the thrill for me, is like. Am I going to wash out and have to put my legs down on top of the thing? Or can I do it like a vocal? So far I'm doing pretty good. Oh god. It's these vans that I need. Got it! Woo! I put my legs down on that one. Alright. Woo! That was, that was the most technical so far yeah. on this journey, right? Yeah, that one required intense focus, and here I am blabbing my mouth away, but I was pretty nervous. <laughs> we reached the bottom without falls or injury, and it was time to relax and enjoy All the beautiful right, boat ride on the river. To the parking lot, we got our tickets. We got some pineapple and some mango for the road trip. Um, they're gonna tram us to the boat. This is a little short tram. I felt like I was at Universal Studios for a second. And now we're gonna go get our boat. Just a short walk away. The water looked beautiful on the way in though. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Our captain. We got our boat, number 11 right here. Town, we found somewhere to eat. We just Googled whatever we could find. It's called La Coffee. We ordered a orange oolong tea, which sounds amazing. I hope it's good with very little sugar. I ordered pho bo, which is beef pho. And Alejandra ordered what? Fried chicken? Yes, with french fries. <laughs> with french fries. So she went way off the spectrum of Vietnamese. We're super hungry. We 
foolishly skipped breakfast, so. Yeah, that was dumb. I'm excited to eat, and we still, from this point, have about two hours-ish to get to the next stop, so. Hope the food's good. Yeah, if same. If not, I'm still gonna devour it all, and we gotta hit the road. Yeah, two true more hours. that. But from this point on, there's no more stopping points unless we see a nice vista review, so <laughs> it should make some pretty good time on the road. Fun is here. The line, it looks really good. It does look actually really good. Look at those noodles. It's a good amount of beef too. Mm. How is it? Is it good? Is it good? It's good. It's really good. Mm. Where's my chicken? really cute small villages I mean they're tiny and they're just like every I don't know 10 to 15 kilometers or so but we stopped on this very small bridge because there's these rice fields and it just looks so cool there is a little bit of trash but it's not it's just right here right by the bridge you know scooter people probably tossing it out but in the distance it's just so lush and green Okay guys, we couldn't make it. We needed to take a break and the sun is starting to set and it's looking super beautiful over this river here. So we're gonna stop here. We got about 10, 15 kilometers left. So we should be able to get to town in the afterglow as the sun's starting to set. But I don't think we're gonna wait till it gets fully down, but at least a little bit. But yeah, we just had to rest our butts. It was just kidding. It was getting a little dangerous because I was starting to really zoom and try to get it. And it's just like, okay, you have to realize that. Take a little break. Soak in the sun and the beauty, relax your butt cheeks, and then get back on the road. Hello! Hello. I've never gotten so many hellos in my life. Alright. 
we made it, we made it. After the failures of day one, including almost zero views due to very hazy skies, dropping my bike and getting caught by the police for not having a license, I wasn't sure how the rest of the trip was going to go, but day two was a big win for us. Even though we were racing against the clock all day, we did a ton of stuff, some hiking, some boating, and we really felt during our riding today that we were finally heading into the real Vietnam, passing all the little towns and villages waving hello. I felt a sense of adventure, and I thought, could the days to come get any better than this? Four more days to go. See you tomorrow. Thank you.